Was Led Zeppelin actually a prog rock band? I mean, I don't think they have that badge. I think most would consider Led Zeppelin to be a classic rock band. And some may say that Rush is sort of like a prog rock version of Led Zeppelin, but really Rush was Rush. The prog rock version of Led Zeppelin was actually Led Zeppelin, and there are some obvious breadcrumbs we can follow to prove it. And in order to do that, we have to ask ourselves, what is prog really? Or what was it in the 70s when Led Zeppelin was coming up? Well, one common characteristic includes odd time signatures. The song Four Sticks, for example, is in 5-4. The song The Ocean has a main theme in 4-4 which has an ending bar of 7-8. Cashmere, of course, the guitar riff is in 3-4 and the drums are in 4-4. And obviously a progressive element is to move between common and odd time signatures which happens in, for example, the song The Crunch. Another element of progressive music, of course, is alternate tunings. Jimmy Page used all sorts of different cool tunings, and they were especially on display with acoustic guitar parts. <laughs> the mystical lyrics. I feel like prog lyrics are always epic and fantastical. I mean, read these lyrics. We come from the land of the ice and snow, from the midnight sun where the hot springs flow. How soft your fields so green can whisper tales of gore, of how we calm the tides of war. We are your overlords. So I think with all this evidence you might be coming around that Led Zeppelin was a little bit more prog than our perceptions reveal. But the ultimate badge of honor is to write a guitar riff that becomes scripture among guitar players. A notorious piece of music that all of us chase and try and figure out what, what the heck is he playing right there? I know one of those moments for me was when I heard King Crimson's Frame by Frame where Adrian Ballou and Robert Fripp were trading off guitar parts that were in seven starting on different beats than each other where they would come around in this phasing, unbelievable stereo panning effect that I just worshipped. <laughs> so many examples like that. The crazy tapping lick that kicks off the shred section of Guthrie Govan's fives. The 9-8 mesmerizing riff that is that lead part of Jombie by Tool. Pretty much anywhere you look in a Dream Theater song you can find what I'm talking about. But where does Led Zeppelin fit into this equation? Where have they baffled guitar players for years? Much like that weird added or dropped beat in the Master of Puppets phrase. Many guitar players just can't play this section just like the original. And the riff I'm talking about, of course, is Led Zeppelin's Black Dog. <laughs> signature do you think this song is in? Do you even count it or do you just feel it, man? Well, anything can be measured and quantified in music, right? 
Right. So as you can see, we switch between 4-4, four, 5-4, four, four, and 5-8. We have a 16th note pickup that brings us into the first verse. So if you look at these phrases, you can play them as individual phrases and learn the riffs that way. So when you go to play Black Dog by itself, you really have the phrases locked into the groove. You're not necessarily playing this one big guitar flurry of notes. You're playing a riff that happens over multiple time signatures. <laughs> It doesn't matter how you count this or what it looks like on paper, it matters about how it feels. And if you notice so far, even if I play the riffs exactly how they're recorded, all the right notes are there, all the rhythm is perfect, it still just doesn't sound like the original. And I think I know why. After a close examination, let's see what happens when I pull this kick drum away from the grid a little bit. There you have it, the Led Zeppelin riff nobody can count because it's not in time. Maybe we shouldn't lock everything to the grid so much. It's taking away the soul of the music. Just learn to play your instrument. It doesn't matter if it's a little out of time, a little out of tune, just play it, it's real, man. It doesn't sound real when you just quantize everything to the grid.